What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. Now, today, 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 we're going to be discussing the Cleveland Browns first game of the year, man. The first game of the NFL season, the Hall of Fame game. The Browns went down uh, to Canton, Ohio, uh, probably about like 45 minutes from Cleveland, and went and uh, played the New York Jets. Um, you know, the New York Jets, they got their own little controversy going on with them just going getting Aaron Rodgers and having their second round, not second round pick, but the second pick in the draft, and Zach Wilson. Um, been to him. So, you know, this game started off with Zach Wilson, you know, a first round quarterback um, coming out there and playing against our team. Now, um, players, a lot of players didn't play in this game. Make sure that like, comment, and subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to lock in with us. Uh, but um, a lot of people didn't play um, just because it's a Hall of Fame game. Hopefully, we see a lot of guys go out there and play next week, uh, next Sunday. And hopefully next Sunday comes soon, man. I miss football. Uh, really miss football. I wish we would have got to see a little couple of names. But uh, in this video, I'm just going to go over pretty much my thoughts on the preseason game. And I'm going to tell you guys who I thought played good versus who I thought played bad. Uh, first thing first, uh, shout out to Cedric Tillman, man. The guy really looked like a beast. Um, he looked like he was a matchup problem out there for guys. Um, and the Browns didn't really throw the ball down the field like that. I really wish they would have opened it up a little bit more. Whether they working on, excuse me, whether they're working on so many screen passes, but um, last day, announcer said, you know, it's the Hall of Fame game. It's the only time you could really work on screen passes and stuff. So I can understand that. Um, but yeah, I felt like this team performed well. You know, the first half was out there and the offense wasn't looking good with Kellen Mond and Anthony Shorts. Um, they had a terrible interception that Kellerman threw. Terrible. Kellerman is garbage, but they had a terrible interception. And Anthony Schwartz fumbled the ball. Um, so all that Anthony Schwartz might make the roster stuff. You could probably throw him out the way now. Um, and we're going to see if, like, Watkins or Jalen Dorton or something like somebody like that can play. Um, out of DTR. DTR played great. He came out. It was very electric. Uh, very hype. Um, he was looking good to the point where I was like, yeah, let me temper my expectations on him because he is playing, you know, third string right now. But he looked pretty damn good. You know, he, he looked really good. 30 rushing yards. He had, what, like 85 passing yards, uh, two TD drives. Um, he looked real good out there running the option. Um, he was hitting his reads and hitting his plays. It was just a really good game for him. Um, now, I do you guys think Dorian can take Josh Dobbs' spot? I think that's going to be a very, very, very entertaining battle that we're going to see uh, coming up into these next preseason games is this battle for the number two spot because Dorian could push Josh Dobbs off this roster. Yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Um, if he looks starting good or looks up to par, um, he could push Josh Dobbs off this roster. And I would honestly rather go with Dorian if he's able to compete at an NFL level um, then Josh Dobbs, because it's film on Dobbs, you know? Uh, guys, the NFL kind of knows how to guard and go against Josh Dobbs. With Dorian, he's a rookie. You know, rookie quarterbacks, you kind of just got to play them fair and evenly and let them make their mistakes on their own. Uh, but if Dorian and Josh Dobbs are on the same level caliber of player, I cut Josh Dobbs. You guys comment down below how y'all feel about that. I know that might be a little premature just off of one Hall of Fame game, but just doing like hypotheticals, like yeah, if Dorian and Josh Dobbs were the same, you know, same type of level quarterback, I think Josh Dobbs is gone. That's something to keep in mind. Um, another thing, because Josh Dobbs was our number three last year. So another thing, uh, you know, Demetri Felton looked surprisingly explosive. He looked quick, he looked fast, he looked agile. Um, he was making quick moves. Now, um, he didn't get to rush the ball like that, but he did look very athletic out there and very electric with the football. Uh, he, he had some very nice cuts and moves. Um, now, Demetri Felton just made a play for him to stay on this roster as the running back three. Uh, I just want to see him in more live games and get him more of a workload throughout the whole game. I don't like how we started him off in this. Well, I guess it's because Dorian was out there, but we started him off. Um, I feel like he should have got like a, a workload of, of carries, almost how John Kelly did. 
like 15 carries or so. But you see, John Kelly was getting a workload of running back, I mean, running carries because, you know, Kellen Ma was out there. Um, another thing to notice is the Browns did um, have a good quarterback production just in general. You can tell that our quarterback role was in good standards. Our quarterbacks perform much better than the Jets quarterbacks. Um, and our running backs perform much better than the Jets running backs. The passing was a little bit even across the board. But yeah, our quarterbacks in general had a much better game than what the Jets put out there. Um, and so I feel like that bodes well for this quarterback room. And that can maybe shine a light on how Deshaun and Josh Dobbs will play when the preseason come up. Um, so I feel like that's just something to keep in mind. <clears throat> Another person that I want to bring up and get to was Dewan Jones. Man, he's a huge guy, you know, a big guy. He looked very good. Um, I like that he played all of the entire game. And all the guys were saying they were gassed. But the fact that they had Dewan out there the entire game, I felt like that was very, very interesting. Um, I wonder if he's going to play the entire preseason, you know? Because um, imagine, I feel like if Jack Cochran goes now with an injury, I'm not going to worry that. Not going with that doesn't happen, but if Jack Cochran was to go down with an injury, uh, Dewan Jones might take his spot and run with it. Um, he looked very good. Now um, we'll have to see if he can hold up against NFL edges, um, you know, NFL speed. But as far as like pure strength and just being a huge guy, he definitely looked good out there. Um, so that's a great thing. Um, I look for the Browns to add a couple of uh, offensive tackles. Um, our offensive line didn't look the best. Uh, Nick Harris didn't look the best. Uh, Dawson Deaton, I think that's his name, number uh, 85 or something like that. He ain't looked the best. The best piece on that defensive line looked like James Hudson and Dewan Jones from all I could tell. So that was, but it was good for uh, Dwayne Hudson. Um, so, yeah, not Dwayne I said Dwayne Hudson. Dewan Jones and James Hudson. But both good for those guys. But you guys comment down below how y'all feel about this game. I felt like it was an overall good team performance. Uh, K York. K York. I try to tell y'all. I dropped a video on it. It didn't get that much views. People ain't like it. I tried to I tried to tell y'all. K York needs to be on the hot seat, bro. I'ma keep beating the table on it. The man almost missed the extra point. He missed the field goal to start the game. He needs competition. I don't give a damn about him being a fourth round pick. He needs competition. We can't be out there struggling to win football games because K York's not making a 45 yard field goal. Like that just can't happen, bro. That can't happen. And, I, and I've been saying he was a problem. And I've been said that we need to bring in some type of competition. And I've been said we shouldn't have drafted a kicker. I said it. Look, everybody was like, oh, this is how you get Phil Dawson and blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, you're not going to get Phil Dawson drafting a kicker high because most kickers drafted high don't pan out. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Look at Evan McPherson. We all thought he was goaded and he was so elite and he sent the Bengals to the Super Bowl. Came back and had a mid-year. Most of these kickers is better off picking a couple off the street. You could probably pick a couple of kickers off the XFL, and you could try them out, and they'll probably do what you want them to do. But instead, we done invested this this fourth-round pick in the K York. So we kind of damn there got to at least give them like six, seven games. You know what I'm saying? We got to at least give them like six, seven games because we done drafted this fourth-round pick into them. Now, boom, we cut them. That's a whole waste of pick. Andrew Berry, that's on you. You know, I feel like he should at least have some type of level of competition in camp. Like, at the end of the day, y'all messed up and y'all got to acknowledge that y'all messed up drafting the kicker that high. Don't do that no more. Period. Uh, y'all could have got a safety. It's so many other different skill positions you could have got, but you said once you draft a kicker, now you either got to give this kicker time because you drafted him or bring in competition, and if he gets beat out by this competition, you got to cut a fourth-round pick. And that'd be two picks in that draft that's cut. That's not looking well for that draft. Mara Emerson might have to carry that draft class because it's not looking well right now. K. York, Perion's already gone. Uh, Mara Emerson is the light of that damn class. So, you don't know. You guys comment down below, man. Remember, we're doing a 1K giveaway. 
giving away um, a ticket to a Browns game when I hit a thousand subscribers. If I hit a thousand subscribers, God willing. Um, but let me know how y'all like this video. Um, we will be back. I'm gonna drop another video, y'all, before I leave out for my job today. But I'm out. Peace.